Okay, I'm going to continue. Again, I'm going to continue from where looks like my camera only wants to record 15 minutes. I don't know how to correct that, but I'm not going to focus on that. Keep the ball rolling. But where I stopped off at was what the Most High is telling us is we got to come out of that fear. We've got to step out of that fear and step in faith, step in uh, you know, security and trust, trusting, just just rest, have peace. And one of the ways that was mentioned how to do that, the most important way to bring us back home within our spirits, within ourselves, is to breathe. It's we got to know that us breathing brings us back home within ourselves to calm down whatever is going on in that is that's contrary to the spirit when we breathe it automatically when we're conscious of knowing when we breathe that again that breath is the breath of life so we have to breathe and come back home in peace in our spirit but yes that's our past we got to get past the fear. Get past all of this bad news. Get past all of this negativity. Uh, you know, just we just got to get out of that type of mentality, words we speak. You know, we just got to get away from that that energy, that air. That's not that's not God. That's not what we, we were created to do. Okay, I'll have enough of the fear. We know what fear. Some of us are afraid to leave our jobs. Some of us are afraid to go into relationships that we know. These are things that we know in our spirit that we need to take a, a leap of faith to do. When, we, when we're walking in fear and we're being asked to, in our spirits, we know, oh man, I want to quit this job. I want to leave. Well, why don't you stop being afraid? And also when we ponder on fear and worry, it's getting worse and worse. We're, we're feeding fuel to the fire by keeping that atmosphere of fear and, and negativity. It's only breeding more and more negativity, worse and worse situations. Just like the opposite is faith. The more we believe, <laughs> the bigger things get to the better. Okay, and that was the past. Fear. Get rid of the fear. That's behind us. The next card is the present, which is the eagle. Okay, let me go to number one. And he's number one. The eagle. Eagle. Fly high. Touch great spirit. Share your medicine. Touch me. Honor me so that I may know you too. <laughs> All right. That's the eagle. Hallelujah. Now let me get to what eagle means. Okay. Eagle medicine is the power of the great spirit. And these are this is the Native American, the Indians. Uh, there. This is their... Uh, a, a book or, or generated from them. Okay, eagle medicine is the power of the great spirit, the connection to the divine. It is the ability to live in the realm of spirit and yet remain connected and balanced within the realm of earth. Eagle soars and is quick to observe expansiveness within the overall pattern of life. From the heights of the clouds, eagle is close to the heavens where the great spirit dwells. The feathers of eagle are considered to be the most sacred of healing tools. They have been used for centuries by shamans to cleanse the auras of patients coming to them for healing within belief systems of Native American tribes. Eagle, here we go. Eagle represents a state of grace achieved through hard work, understanding, and completion of tests. 
of initiation which result in the taking of one's personal power. It is only through the trial of experiencing the lows in life as well as the highs and through the trial of trusting one's connection to the great spirit that the right to use the essence of ego medicine is earned. You understand? Okay, that's, I'm going to stop quickly on that because we have 15 minutes on this. And again, we have gone through trials and tests and we have to come through it with grace we got to have the right attitudes the right uh the the right thoughts the right words the right actions away from the fear and be tested from the fear it uh, events of our lives and and be tested to graduate to the eagle that's the present. God is calling us and we are able to fly at this moment as eagles. This is what is going on. A message to the people. You're walking in fear. Leave it alone. It's the past. Step out into the present. This is what is going on now. This is being poured out to the present now. The power of the Most High within us walking as gods. We can get this power, power to see from on high and look down low and, 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 and have power over storms. Be in the eye, the, the eye of the storm. Ride the, uh, the, it is said that eagles fly above the storms. They go in the middle of tornadoes and ride in the calmness in the middle of these tornadoes. And we just was in a, the tornado warnings and, and, and in Bradenton they actually getting the tornado this is the message right now the present right now tornadoes going on right now this is the present step away from the freaking past of the foolishness of not trusting your God your creator your spirit you know it's a better way. I'm not going to go to that. Let's go to the future. What does God have message for us from the, for the future? And again, the prairie is number 47, but the prairie dog was pulled upside down. So let's see what the message from the prairie dog says. And the prairie dog, I really don't know much about him, but he dig tunnels and, and, and be in water and stuff like that. Okay, here's the little poem before it starts. It says, prairie dog calls me when it's time to rest. When it's time to honor the internal quest. I go into retreat so I may see a way to replenish the potential in me. So the prairie dog... But right now, he's upside down. This is the future. Are you going to accept this present? Or are a lot of us going to stay and the future is going to be you staying in, 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 in... Okay, let me go to it. Let me tell you what Prairie Dog says. It says, this is what the upside down Prairie Dog, the worry bug. We back to the freaking rat rabbit. The worry bug may have bitten prairie dog, and it has appeared in the contrary, upside down. Has the workaholic syndrome. Oh boy, we working our butts off, two, three jobs. Gotten the best of your inner knowing and sensible outlook on life. You thinking this is what's going to get you what you're looking for in life? Working like a, like a, like a whatever, a workaholic. You're having no rest. You can't even take time for yourself. You can't even get away and get back regenerated. You're working, you're busy, you okay. But you're thinking that's the way to get what you're looking for. Have you been tunneling in an unproductive direction because you forgot to come up for air? 
Look around and get your bearings. Have you become addicted to the adrenaline created by the scurrying to catch up? You addicted to the rat race, to the rush. You won't let it go. If you get sick from the chaos of overactivity, you may have an unwelcome and enforced rest period at hand. If you don't stop this, this he letting you know what's going to happen in the future. If you don't stop this fear, worry, workaholic, rat race, living lifestyle, he's letting you know what the future is coming, what it's going to be. You're going to have an unwelcome period of rest forced on you at hand. Constant stress can steal your inspiration and ability to think on your feet. Another contrary message of Prairie Dog is believing that compromise or retreat is a sign of weakness. You thinking if you pull back you're weak? Goodbye lie. That's a lie. You can get stuck in this one-way tunnel. If you let your head get too big, if you cannot still yourself, if you can't be still and go rest and be at peace and get in and take away and re, get, get replenished, you need a reality check, check. If you cannot be comfortable being alone, if you cannot delegate responsibility, again, you need a reality check. Do not be afraid to take a freaking break. Don't be afraid. Stop this fear to take a break. You're not weak. It's not a sign of weakness to refill your resources. Take a break and refill your resources and to adopt a healthy, more relaxed.